fascination with tigers has been with me since I was a child. I know quite a bit more than I did years ago, but still there's so much more to know that it's an unending quest in some sense. My name is Ullas Karant. I am a senior conservation scientist with the Wildlife Conservation Society. I'm based in India. Tigers are in trouble. Globally, tigers are severely threatened now. Their range has shrunk by 93%. They used to be found in 30 countries and they are now found only in a dozen or so. The core of our work involves coming up with smart ways of saving tigers and then making other people implement our ideas so tigers are saved. And we also go and monitor if something is working or not. And that we do by directly counting tigers. We use two main techniques. One is putting out a large number of automated cameras in the forest. They take pictures of the tigers and you can identify them from their stripes. And recently we have developed a new technique of identifying tigers from their DNA. Both these techniques then we use to come up with numbers. Tigers live in Asia, which has the highest human population density of all continents. And this means you have to actually give incentives for people to move away and settle away from key tiger habitats. It's a huge challenge, but we have been quite successful. These habitats also happen to be important watersheds. They protect rivers, they protect water supplies. Now we find that they are vital for locking up carbon, which is the cause of global warming. So saving tigers brings multiple benefits, in fact. 50 years ago, when I got interested in tigers, I thought there would be no tigers left in 10 more years. I thought I would never see a wild tiger. But the places where WCS has worked, we have actually seen dramatic increase in tiger numbers. If we act strategically, invest wisely and do the right things, there is still a lot of room for tigers in this world. So I'm cautiously optimistic.